Hi all, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I got something very special for you guys. We're going to be making modular terrain tiles for the Horus Heresy, or Kill Team, or 40k, or whichever game you guys prefer. Now, I'm going to definitely be using them for the Horus Heresy. Now, the nice thing about these tiles is they're cheap to make and they're very easy to make, though time consuming. I'm gonna be honest about that, but you can build a complete 6x4 board uh, with 24 of these tiles. Now my plan is to make 16, that's uh, about the size of my table, so that'll do. But uh, if you want the 6x4 table, you will need 24 of these things. Now, if you want to make some yourself, I would say follow me to the crafting table, and let's do this! Come on! All right, my friends, a quick look at a setup with some scratch built terrain on these tiles. All right, so we are going to begin by making a template, which is 12 inch by 12 inch on a five millimeter foam board. Now I take some EVA foam mats, which are cheap and came in a pack of six where I'm from, and you'll need 16 to build a table that is six by three and 24 to build a table that is six by four and six to build a kill team board. Now I'm basing these tiles on the image you see here, just pause the screen or take a screenshot and credit to these tiles goes to Secret Weapon Tablescapes, uh, but they ran out of print so this image was taken from a source online and it's not made by me. Now we're gonna begin by tracing these templates on all of your mats. And I'm also double checking to see if uh, it really is 12 inch by 12 inch. Now, once uh, you're happy with it, start by cutting them all out, but go slow. Do not rush this or you will tear up the foam uh, on the side of the mats and you do not want that. Just go slow, take your time. I know it's time consuming, but better go slow, guys. Now, measure this with your template. Looking good. Now, do the rest of your tiles this way. Now for the purpose of this video I'm doing 6 tiles but I will be doing all 16 in the same way. In this video I will show you the different variations on how I built them. All of them. Now a couple of other things that you will need for these uh, tiles and one of them is a 3mm thick cork roll or sheets. It's not very expensive and a 5mm thick foam board or ready board for the pavements. And of course, glues, paints, but that's normal. You will always need that. <laughs> now, just the, the same as with the mats, I'm gonna trace this uh, template on foam board for the pavement tiles, and I will make as many tiles that are not road sections. Use the reference image as a good guide to know how many you will need. And I am going to be doing eight of these pavement tiles. Then I'm taking another piece of foam board, measure and cut that it is 12 inch long by 2 inch wide and make as many as you need to make straight row tiles. You will need two of these per single row tile. And then simply once you have drawn it up, just cut them out and use them as a template for uh, as many of these uh, sections that you need and cut them out as well like so and a straight row tile will look like this now cut several two inch by two inch foam board squares for the corners and i will demonstrate and if you place them here in one of those and these are t junctions and if you place uh, the smaller on each of the corners like this you will create uh yeah cross section looking cool so far now we're gonna begin by peeling off all the paper of the foam board pieces again time consuming but worth it in the end peel it all off now start to mark out two inch intervals on the sidewalk strips and then simply draw a straight line up And score with your knife and then go over it with a ballpoint pen. It's a very easy and a simple technique, but it really works out like a charm. 
<laughs> you really can't beat the classics, guys. <laughs> now we're gonna draw in as many cracks as you as you want. I'm going to do a lot. As it is for the Horus Heresy or 40k, so uh, these tiles have seen some action. Now for the pavement tiles, you can create a simple 2 inch by 2 inch grid. But I'm going to do it a little bit different on a couple of them. So I'm going to start out with an outer rim, which is 2 inch by 2 inch, and divide this into 2 inch squares like this. So first 2 inch squares, uh, 2 inch uh, grid around the outer border like this. Mark out 2 inches on the, other, on the opposite side also 2 inches and connect the dots and draw the line. Go around the tile, uh, the incomplete tile doing this. Like so. If you simply want a 2 inch by 2 inch grid, uh, then just make a 2 inch by 2 inch grid of course. But for some of them I like a little bit of variation. Now we are going to do the same but with a 1 inch grid. Like this. Mark out 1 inch and connect the dots, draw the line. And go around the tile, mark out one inch, mark out one inch, connect the dots, draw the line, like this. Going all around the tile with this. It's a nice little variation to a simple uh, grid tile. Now, once I have done that, I'm on the inner piece, I'm going to mark out two inches uh, again. Connect the line, uh, connect the dots, draw the line. Two inches on the inside. I'm going to flip it and again mark out here. So we're going to create a two inch grid on the inner piece of uh, the tile. Mark two inch squares at the outer rim of the tile and do the same. Like so. Two inches. And draw a straight line up. And with the one inch, uh, of course, I'm going to do exactly the same. Mark out one inches. Draw the line straight up. And you will get a nice looking tile like this. And of course, um, score the lines that you just draw. And uh, go over them with a ballpoint pen. And start by drawing in as many cracks as you want. Destroy the tile. <laughs> Now, when that is done, do not forget, as I said, score your lines and draw them in with a ballpoint pen. And I'm going to be gluing these tiles. But before I do, warning, please do not use PVA glue, use hot glue instead. I had two major issues I had to fix uh, at the end of all of this. The first one, my tiles warped, but that's easy fixable. Uh, and the second was a, a little bit more of a hassle. All the cork and cardstock came loose when I was washing these tiles. So yeah, use hot glue, guys. Now, if you still determine to use PVA glue, glue, score the back of the foam mat and score the back of the foam board for a better adhesive. Like this. But please, use hot glue. As you can see, when I line them up, they look cool. Now, this is optional. I'm going to be gluing in zip ties to create a drain running between the sidewalk and the road. Uh, again, tip that will make it easier on yourself. Glue in the road first before you glue this strip on the road. I've learned this the hard way. And it was a pain to fit the road between the two zip ties. So, before you do this, glue in your roads first. But if you are determined to do it my way, well, I'm start by uh, scrape, scraping the smooth side and then glue these uh, strips down. Just using white glue, but again, use super glue or hot glue. But glue in your roads first, guys. It is a cool detail, but glue in your roads first. Now the road is a 8 inch by 12 inch normally if your tiles are correct. Then I cut this out of the cork uh, sheet and glue this down. But please, glue this down first before you glue on the zip ties. And use hot glue. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough guys. <laughs> use hot glue. 
well, live and learn, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, here's the road. Now put some weight on the cork and let it dry if you use PVA. Now if you are building these tiles for any type of modern games like The Walking Dead, Marvel, Batman, then you can skip this next step. You don't have to do this. Uh, but I like to do this because it is for 40k or kill team and it gives a little bit extra flair. Now cut many, many, many strips of 12 inch long and a half a centimeter wide. Now put on a movie, audiobook, lore, channel or Elretians Crafts and Battles <laughs> while you are doing this as the next two steps are the most tedious part of this entire build. So start by cutting out all these thin strips of half a centimeter. Now I'm going to be using a hole punch to create rivets in this uh, thing. As you see, you have seen me do this uh, on plenty of builds and just punching uh, these rivets at a one inch interval and do the millions of strips <laughs> you have cut for this. <laughs> Now next I mark out through 3 inch intervals on the road and I'm going to glue down the strips. Use hot glue. <laughs> now as you will see me draw the lines here, I will do doubles on the interior, on the inside of the road. First I will, this, uh, yeah here you can see me measuring. Snip them to size and I'm going to glue them down. Now I'm going to use doubles, as I said, on the, the interior of the road, the inner part of the road, and one on the, the outer edge of the road, as you see me do here, like so. But use hot glue, but let it dry if you used PVA. Use hot glue! <laughs> now glue on the sides. Now cut off the excess parts if some are still sticking out. Do this for all your straight row tiles that you want to make. Now for the cross section and the T section, do the exact same steps as you did with the straight roads, but glue on again glue in the cork first and then glue the zip ties. And use hot glue. <laughs> I'm gonna mark out 12 inch on the cork tile and cut away the edges that are uh, the sidewalk and I'm gonna glue this down on the foam mat for the cross section but again glue this in first <laughs> now I'm gluing on the zip ties for the drain here and again use hot glue Just makes it a lot easier now put some weight on it and I will show you what I have made so far some cool looking tiles now what I still have to do is all of these <laughs> now this is optional I'm going to create craters and debris on my tiles if you don't want to destroy your tiles I will show you after this how to create modular craters now on the tiles I'm going to draw the circle and cut that out. Choose the side you want your crater to be, then tear away the chunks with some pliers. As you can see I'm cutting into the foam mat and I'm taking some pliers to removing chunks. Making it look really really destroyed. And cut away some pieces. Don't cut through the foam mat though, be careful. Just cut away some, uh, just pluck away. But don't tear through the format. Now I put PVA around the crater, use hot glue, and start by adding the pieces I uh, that you tore away and other parts of corks or debris or whatever you want. And you can also use by scattering cork parts uh, around the tiles if you want to. Just sticking them all down, but hot glue would have been better. Live and learn. <laughs> Here I'm tearing off some more cork to create more rubble. Now while that is drying I'm going to do the same for my roll tiles, exactly the same. Just destroying the entire piece. Also tearing away some pieces of the road section as well and, and gluing that back on. 
Nice looking destroyed tile. Shake off the excess. Let it glue. Now, when everything is dry, I begin by adding wood filler or spackle around the crater and with a wet brush, I stipple it on. Also inside of the crater. And I'm also stippling around uh, the tile as well. I'm doing the same for the pavement section as well. Do this on all the tiles that uh, you want to have some craters in. I will now show you how I make my modular craters just in case you don't want to ruin your tiles and your hard work. Now I take a piece of cardstock and an old newspaper or magazine and uh, I'm going to use some painter's tape as well. But for here I'm I am using hot glue to attach it to the cardstock base. And I'm going around it with masking tape. I find this is a good way to attach uh, the crater to the cardstock uh, along with the hot glue as well. Now I cover the entire piece with wood filler, spackle and then sprinkle sand on it while the, the filler is still wet. I'm just drag it, dragging it out from the center to create that uh, crater look and I'm just sprinkling on some sand, not too much. And also while it's still wet I'm going to press in some debris. Just as much or as little as you guys prefer, doesn't really matter, let that dry. Now here I did the exact same thing but on a tile with the same techniques uh, as the modular crater except I hot glued on the pieces of debris before I stippled on the wood filler. Which made my life really easy. <laughs> I love hot glue. <laughs> also I'm gluing uh, pieces of debris on the tile as well. Now here you can see me putting in uh, the wood filler, going all around the crater, also on the, the debris parts, stippling uh, some of the spackle onto the, the tile as well, and sprinkling on the sand. Drawing some more cracks. Always good to have cracks. Now I'm going to uh, add some grates on my tiles using plastic mesh 2 inch by 2 inch. Cut away a slab out of the tile, like so. And then I'm using white glue to attach it. Just putting some white glue into the corners. You can use hot glue or super glue. And then press in the grate. And I also stippled again some wood filler in random spots on all my tiles. Now for the rotas, just cut smaller grates and apply in the, exactly the same way as you just did with the bigger part. Just cut away a small piece and, and glue it in. Like so. You don't have to do it, but the detail is nice. Now my craters in the meantime are dried, so let's place all the tiles together and have a look. I'm gonna need to add more debris, but it's coming along nicely. Now cut and tear other pieces out of the road and glue these around the holes that you just created. Also glue more rubble on the tiles or whatever you guys prefer of course. And again use hot glue. <laughs> I know I've said this a million times but trust me, use hot glue. And a lot more cracks on these tiles and now I have completed these 12 tiles and I'm gonna prime them all black. So uh, once they primed, look let's like bring this, them to life with some painting. Using paint instead of a spray because the cork really soaks up the spray paint. Now when that is done, I start by dusting at a 45 degree angle with a grey primer or a matte grey paint, uh, spray paint over them. And it will look like this to create my concrete. Well, the first layer of concrete. Cool. I now give them two coats of a black wash. Uh, use whichever wash you are used to make or which you still have and just coat the entire tiles and use two coats because you really want them uh, rather dark they will get a lot lighter but here you can see me uh, apply uh, where I have applied the second coat looking pretty dark but they will turn out a lot lighter, you will see why. Now let's paint them up. Before we do, just know that you can paint your tiles in whatever color scheme you are used to or want to do it. This is just my way and please do not feel obligated to follow these steps. Just use whatever you guys want to do for your concrete. 
Now I'm mixing blue and dark gray with a little bit of white and I start by stippling this at the center of each of the concrete slabs, like so. Just stipple that on. Doesn't matter if it's, uh, if it's thick or not, just stipple that on. Also on the debris parts that are sticking out. Do that for all your tiles. Now with silver paint, I'm gonna paint the metal bandings on the road as well as the sewer grates. And here you can already see the effects of uh, the wash that the, that the strips of cardstock have gotten loose. So I still have to reattach them with some hot glue and super glue. Now with a white paint and a large makeup brush, I begin by heavy stippling all across the concrete. Make it very light, as you see here, very light, because it will turn a bit darker. Also go dry brush uh, the debris parts. Now again, this is optional, but I made a stencil of the Aquila and I gem gently stipple on black paint. Uh, I didn't have a sponge, but uh, it would be better with a sponge, but this way works as well. Just tap your brush uh, at a 90 degree angle very smoothly and it will look like that. Now stipple on brown paint on all of the metallic parts and also inside of the cracks of the crater. Like so. Giving it a little bit of more color variation. Now create a brown glaze or a very, very thin wash. Now this glaze is not painted on, but I stipple it on and this will remove parts of the gray paint, allowing the lighter color to shine through a bit more. And it will create some nice tone variations on the stones. Also do the same on the road. And now I begin to scrape a brown and black pastel while these tiles are still wet all across all my tiles first beginning with a brown one and then going over it uh, with a black pastel like so do also especially in and around the craters with the black uh, pastel now i do the same with a reddish brown pastel and then highlight with an orange pastel on all the metal parts like so and now you can spray your tiles with a matte varnish if you want. It will help uh, seal in everything together. Now let's let's look at a little setup. Here we can see the ultramarines fighting the world eaters. Also some scratch built tanks that I've made. Some buildings that I've made. So yeah, I'm really happy with this result. And I still have a lot of tiles to go. But uh, uh, now you guys can build your own. So thank you all for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on the Horus Heresy tiles which are great for Kill Team and 40k as well. And I will be using them for battle reports uh, for my own version of the Horus Heresy for one page rule. So I hope you all will like that as well. I will be doing that in my traditional uh, battle report style. <laughs> and But most importantly thank you all so much for helping me reach 2000 subscribers i really appreciate all of your support and it really means a lot thank you all now i have a lot more to come both for terrain and battle reports and of course also my necromunda project i have a lot planned for that as well fantasy loads more things on the horizon <laughs> so i will see you all there all right thanks for everything guys and bye for now Bye.